been a crazy period after I left the house. I've had to shuffle between meetings, media rounds, interviews, and what have you. But it's been really exciting though. My life- Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Azinda Williams. How are y'all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay, guys, I'm excited because you know me, Azinda, I love good news. Like, imagine my excitement when I saw that Yemi is now signed to a brand. Oh, my, I was excited. And I'm still excited, dad. Uh, yes guys like when he said that something big is coming i was like okay what is it that yemi has for us and people of god yemi is out here winning a very big congratulations to him as he signs with strictly weight loss he becomes the first ex big brother titan housemate to do it this is huge guys i mean when did yemi get out of the house that was like what last two weeks or so and he already has a brand like this is good i love it for him i really really love it for him a very very big congratulations to Yemi. Also, also happy, happy birthday to the daughter of one of our Nigerian Nollywood actresses, Iniedo. Yes, guys, you guys remember back in, is it 2021, 2020? Yeah. Yes, guys, she had a baby and her name is Light. Yes, guys, and a very big happy birthday to her. Yes, I love good news, guys. Also, also, a very big congratulations to the Big Brother Titan housemates as they won their wager. Yes, guys, they wagered 100% and they won it. Honestly, with the way the show started, the presentation started, I was not really confident they could pull it off. Like, when I saw the first collection, I think that was that of Yipi Leng, and the way Sabang was watching, Walking as if something was stuck in between his, you know, his his ass. I was like, what is that? Really? Like, I guess it's because I've been spoiled by some of the fashion presentation I've seen or I saw last year in the Big Brother Niger house. So I saw the way they practiced the strutting and everything. I was like, okay, I was expecting that. So when I saw the first collection and with the way the models were working, I'm like, okay. I mean, Nana, oh my goodness, we don't give Nana enough credit nana's face card never declines i know nana can piss us off but one thing we can never take away from nana is her face card will never decline that babe is fine yes guys so yeah the first collection was in then when i saw the second collection i think that was the one of yvonne I was like, okay, but I mean, why did they want to turn just into watermelon now? Because that thing is looking like watermelon color. I'm like, okay, oh, what is all this? Okay, no, what hell are we going to go with it? And of course, you know, a blue Ava. I, I heard that the blue outfit that blue Ava wore for, I think, Miracle's collection was actually made by Cosi. I'm like, girl, <laughs> talk about making a dress for your arc enemy, your arc rival. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually very funny, but yeah, I mean, Blue Ace vs. Body is bodying. It's bodying. This is something that people pay 2 million, 3 million, 4 million to go and get. This girl, God just gave it to her on a platter of gold. Why would she be proud? Why would she be proud then? <laughs> yes, and of course, Miracles, um, presentation was also beautiful miracles collection you know every time miracle would be like oh that mention and all that like miracle is crazy and we all love him yeah we love we 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 love him even though he makes us angry sometimes but we still love him because his presentation was on point as usual i mean but i didn't understand why did they say that uh, nairobi is in west africa because Nairobi, not be East Africa a day. <laughs> this housemates never seems to amaze me. Like, not one person could correct her during the practice. <laughs> Anyways, now the final collection was that of Kanaga Jr. See, when I saw that, and I um, the name of the collection is 
young, wild, and free. I think that's what it is. Or more, I was like, okay, what is it? I'm, what am I going to expect? And when I saw the collection, I'm like, yes, this. See, a lot of people will chat trash and be like, this collection. Or more, yes, maybe I'm a bit biased because I love black. Black is my, like, yes, I love black. And when I saw the outfits, the way Amana, he embodied it, everything was given. Like, this is runway, I mean, that's what they call it. Wear models, shorts, dream fashion shows. It's runway worthy. Like when you're going to talk about young, wild, and free, you don't expect them to just wear jeans and t-shirts or maybe skirt and blouse. Mba no. You have to do something extra. See, Kanaga is fashion. Fashion is Kanaga. And I'm super happy for him, you know, that um, Big Brother recognized him. I'm happy that Big Brother actually recognized people that he normally wouldn't recognize. People like Nana and Tati for the way they strutted. Even though, honestly, if I'm going to put them you know besides Allison and Hermes mm. but I mean they did great and of course you know for the first time in a very long time he actually congratulated you know Kanaga Jr yes I mean yeah big brother you did great with that one a very big congratulations to them and big brother said this one of those times that all of them were fantastic fantastico I don't know the language that is but they actually look good now away from that away from all the excitement and all that let's talk about some of the things that has got a lot of people talking on social media about being me and like when you said like I mean I knew what was going on like he didn't know how to communicate like it was really bad mm. and like expressing himself and I told him that like he embarrasses me like the way he speaks but I didn't know like people knew it like that and I know, like, sometimes some of the things you say, I need to, like, review them, yeah? Because mm. you also have your own agenda. Mm. That's okay. That is okay. So, guys, that conversation between Kotsi and Tabang got a lot of people pissed. They were like, why would Kosi shame Yemi because of the way he talks? I mean, why would she um, say that the way he talks embarrasses her and all that? Yes, guys, as you can hear from that voice clip, I be the voice note and all that. So um, I had to go and make sure I watch the full clip because I really don't want to be taking anything out of context. And then I realized that she might not actually be talking about you know the way his status and all that she was actually talking about the way he probably like speaks to her like talks to her yes guys and she also went on to say that everybody in the house noticed you know that at some point even people that she didn't like people like sandra people like jenny O were coming to her to ask how she is you know ask her what she's doing with that guy even jp was like he's a yoruba guy you know his her brother i mean he knows she knows how you know your bad guys you know behave and all that you know as she says in all of this the person she really wants to know how he feels about everything that she has done in the house is i mean her boyfriend the one that is outside like basically that's what she was saying but i mean this how many second clip you know got on social media and a lot of people had a lot to say about it i honestly don't understand why cussy you know, keeps talking about Yemi like that because I know, yes, in the beginning of their relationship, Yemi actually did mess up, but along the lines, towards the end, before he left, the, he actually made amends and they were actually cool. He gave her princess treatment in Bella's voice. Yes, guys, and I on, I honestly don't know why she keeps, you know, um, keep talking about this over and over again. So, yeah, that's what I think about it too. I honestly don't think that she was actually making fun of the way he talks his stuttering and all that so but i mean fans big brother niger fans we always want to believe what they want to believe but let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section on that note i'd like to say a very big thank you to all of you for being part of my channel if you have not yet subscribed you know what to do kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video until i come your way again i remain your darling girl az nay williams have yourself a beautiful wonderful day ahead